Why is it that food is such an important part of our health lately? If you think about it, this hasn't always been the case. For example, our grandparents didn't have to deal with so many tampered foods like we do today. In the past, most foods were healthy, they were natural, and not genetically modified. Nowadays, it's hard to find a single one of them that it doesn't have an absurd number of toxins, pesticides, and any other ingredient that is actually damaging to the human body. Most of the foods we are eating today have been changed to their core, like for example wheat, corn, soy, all genetically modified foods that do nothing more than damage the delicate functioning of the human body. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the most dangerous reasons why you should stay away from genetically modified foods, and which ones are they to stay healthy, naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I want to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Next time you're at a grocery store, think about this. It's estimated that more than 75% of all the processed foods lining up the shelves contained genetically modified ingredients. Just to have an idea, that's 92% of corn, 94% of soybeans, and 95% of cotton produced in the US. More recently, new tampering with our food is also making salmon we eat genetically modified. Not to mention that even fruits like apples, papaya, vegetables like beets, potatoes, and squash are also being modified for our consumption. And if you think about it, in the near future, is there any one of us who will actually eat real organic food? So in today's video, I'll reveal some of the most dangerous reasons why you should stay away from genetically modified foods. And which ones are they? To stay healthy, naturally, and effectively. Number one, allergies. When an organism is modified genetically, this changes the expression level of any natural component this organism has. When an organism is genetically modified, this changes completely the expression level of a natural component of that organism, making allergies even worse. Many scientific studies have pointed out that fabricating new organisms can produce unpredictable allergenic effects. This could explain why we're seeing so many children and grown-ups alike suffering from uncontrollable allergic reactions. And most of the times, not even doctors know why. Why is it we see so many food intolerances today? Actually, the only food intolerance I remember hearing about was lactose intolerance, which is perfectly normal. Nowadays, we're seeing all kinds of problems and conditions related to food sensitivities. Skin conditions, digestion, respiratory, constipation, you name it, they are everywhere. Number two, we're not prepared to digest genetically modified foods. New reports are showing that close to 80%, listen to this, 80% of our foods have some type of GMOs. If we think about it, that's 80% of our food, which is terrible. And by the way, if you're not familiar with genetically modified foods, these are organisms, maybe plants or animals, that have been genetically modified to produce or be produced in massive quantities. The problem with using these organisms as food is that our bodies are not yet adapted to eat or digest artificial substances. Let's think about this for a moment. We've adapted our bodies to digest specific foods for thousands of years. Our cells, organs, and every tissue recognizes these substances as valid sources for nutrients. Now this becomes a problem if we modify their DNA, their DNA structure of these foods, from one day to the next and start consuming them, ignoring that something very important has changed. Our bodies are not prepared to digest these foods, and as a result, we suffer serious digestive consequences and conditions. So be very, very careful. Number three, they might produce cancer. In November 2012, the Journal of Food and Chemical Toxicology published a revealing study. This study received a lot of attention worldwide, and for a good reason. It was the first study to look at the possible effects of GMO corn diet 
treated with Monsanto's Roundup herbicide under controlled conditions. What's strange is that the journal later retracted the article, saying that data was not conclusive or it was inconclusive. Very strange. They would never publish it in the first place. The interesting thing about this is that this research study ended up being republished in 2014 by the environmental scientists in Europe, revealing that rats fed two years with Monsanto's glyphosate resistant to NK603, which is a type of corn, had died in earlier controls. It was also found that rats developed tumors eating genetically modified corn cultivated with toxic Roundup herbicide. Female subjects developed large mammary tumors more frequently than other control groups. Meanwhile, males experienced four times larger palpable tumors starting in 600 days earlier than the control group, which is an extreme difference. Number four, GMOs produce harmful reactions in your body. Several new scientific studies have discovered that genetically modified foods can negatively affect the kidneys, the liver, and every single detoxifying organ. A 2009 analysis published in the International Journal of Biological Sciences revealed that when mice were fed three different strains of genetically modified grains, these animals experienced negative reactions in their kidneys, their livers, and detoxifying organs. The consumption of GMO foods in these animals had noticeable effects on their heart function, their adrenal glands, spleens, and hematopoietic systems. These changes were considered to be a direct result of the metabolic changes as a result of the consumption of genetically modified foods. And don't forget that GMO foods can be found anywhere. For example, corn is commonly used to make that inflammatory oil we always buy at the supermarket. Be very, very careful with what you are buying. When you go to the supermarket, make sure you're not choosing those foods that are genetically modified. Number five, what foods are genetically modified? We all know that eating healthy is difficult. That's a fact. Even worse if it means having to deal with genetically modified foods that could practically be anywhere. So what are some of the most common grains or foods you will find that are genetically modified at a supermarket, for example? Well, here's a list. Corn, for example, soy, canola, alfalfa, sugar, beets, which is the top source of refined sugar, by the way, papaya, summer squash, zucchini, animal products that come in conventional meats and dairy also. Now, the worst part about this is that most of these genetically modified foods are a part of processed foods, vegetable oils, packaged goods, processed meats, etc. And this is the main danger of eating any food that is processed. Be sure that you eat organic foods that are not processed and that come in their original state. And how about the channel? Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of appointment, visit drlanavar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic for information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.